What up guys, this is David with Farmer Katie TV and today we're sitting down to do some trimming. So getting started, everybody's already got their stations laid out and the biggest thing is we've got our bulk flour with a starting weight. So for compliance sake, we always got to know how much weed we're working with so we know how much we're supposed to end up with. So as you can see, each one of these guys is an individual station where they're setting their already trimmed buds and they have a space to collect the trim. So let's get started. So when we're starting in on nugs like this, we want to find a clear little space so we can have everything fall in one spot. This particular strain is a little bit larfier in terms of its structure. This isn't always a bad thing. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the, st the structure or the strain itself. What's happened is, is this particular strain is more leaf than it is calyx. So we got to trim it a little bit differently. With a super calyxy strain, we want to trim tight, call it cali trim, getting right up next to it and giving it a nice flushed even structure. This is gonna be a little different. If we trim tight on this, it'll start to fall apart because it's just leaf on leaf on leaf. It's crazy resin coated, but if we dig in, it's gonna collapse. So take a look. Working this way, we're gonna brush down the length of the bud with the main scissor part of our, with the main length of our scissors. Now if you see here, if we're diving in like this, the points are the only part to get dirty and we're only covering about a quarter inch of surface area. When we work with our blade, we wanna use as much of the blade as possible running the length of the bud this way. This gives us much more consistent and even trimming and a lot more speed. Finished. Now, when we're cranking out production style, the key is efficiency, timing, and, and more than anything, a lot of clacking of the scissors. These guys here are all banging out over two pounds a day, and that's what we want to be shooting for at any given point on any given grow. Now some of these tighter, smaller nugs, strains like this where they're a little harder to trim, two might be the max. Something chunky, thick, and no leaves like a gelato, guava gelato as you guys have here. That's gonna be a banger. You can knock out three, four pounds sometimes even on a day if you're really slapping off. Let's get in here. Some of your most common tools, your scissors, and anything covering the table, got to be constantly cleaned with alcohol. Otherwise, you're going to be bringing a whole lot more home than you intended. Now, in terms of trimming, this is your main weapon. So if it gets clogged up, gets gunked up, you're never going to get through the job. The reason these guys are able to get the weight they're able to do, fast scissors. So we're always cleaning with alcohol, just a little bit of regular isopropyl, paper towels. It's all you need. Keep it clean. Keep it moving. To ensure we get to keep doing this, compliance is key. This just little piece of paper here tracks everything that these guys are working on after it's finished and then on to the next train. At the end of each day, all this data is entered in the computer, new stickers are created, and everything stays completely tracked and traced by the state. Nothing more important because we want to get the weed to you guys, not get it taken by them. <laughs> 